and this thing right here, which is. What's going on YouTube? We've got a quick review for you guys today. So you're wondering why I'm on the floor. It's because I'm going to be reviewing these. Isoacoustic pucks to help isolate your subwoofers from the floor. And I just want to go over a couple of reasons why you would want these and how to get the best results out of these in your application. So first and foremost, if you're on the top floor of an apartment or if you're you have a floor like a floating floor that resonates whenever you play music. Let's say you walk around and you hear the thumping. That means your floor is not as solid as you think. So you definitely don't want your floor to resonate with your sub because they could cause buildups and frequency cancellations with the sub. So you might not be hearing 100% of what your sub is playing to you, first of all. So that would be a good reason to buy these. So at this studio here, we're on the top floor of a movie theater. So I knew we'll need something to isolate our sub from resonating with the floor. So in this room, it gives us great results because uh, and the application is needed to isolate the sub. But at my home studio, uh, we have wood on top of just concrete or whatever. It's like a solid floor. It doesn't resonate at all. So when I put the uh, acoustic pucks on there, it gave me a different sound. But honestly, it could just be because we're lifting the sub up off the floor two inches. And these ISO acoustic pucks are what, $70 each. So it's not the cheapest thing to be experimenting with. The result I notice. I don't know if you guys go to concerts or into live sound. The sound it gave me is like when you listen to a subwoofer that's playing on the floor, you get the punch a little bit more. You get more feeling in your chest, you know what I'm saying? Versus like a line array system or a floating sub and you just hear and it has more control on it. But it's not that kind of, you know, subwoofer thump that you feel in your chest. That's the biggest difference I notice when you put these on. And um, it's really comes to preference when you have a floor like mine, a solid concrete floor. Luckily, I didn't buy them. I just borrowed them from here and put them just to try it out and see if it made a difference. To be honest, it's not a huge difference enough for me to justify buying them. $70 for two, it comes out to like $140 just to isolate my sub from the floor. Usually subwoofers come with little feet on the bottom. They're squishy anyway, so it's not a big thing. I like the way it sounds now, but I could honestly live without it. So if you guys are intending to buy these isoacoustic pucks, just keep in mind, the result you will get will vary. And I would only buy them if you're on like the second story or your floor is hollow. I said I wasn't doing measurements, but yet here I am with this funny looking mic and this thing right here, which is a Dayton Audio Exciter. I knew this would come in handy one day. I remember I bought it like two years ago just cause I thought it was cool. So finally I get to use it to do testing with anyways. So basically in this test, this sound exciter is going to represent your speaker. If you put your speaker on your desk, it's going to transfer a little bit of that energy through your desk, essentially turning your desk into another speaker. And it usually is the low mids that would be clouding stuff up. So this exciter can play almost the full range. This thing is a pretty good beast. It jumps around for a minute. But I'm going to show you how it sounds with and without the ISO puck. And uh, it's definitely a difference, I could say. But you can hear it here for yourself. Pianos are made to resonate sound, so that turns it into a speaker when I put it th this thing on there. And that's pretty funny because I actually made this beat with this piano, so it's like 
I don't know. That's just funny to me. <laughs> so right off the bat, guys, I just want to say that the high end is completely gone. And um, the bass is still coming through, but I definitely don't feel it on my fingers as much, which is a big thing that lower mids can definitely cloud up your image and your um, sound. So when you guys buy these, like I was saying earlier, if your floor is hollow, it's going to make a pretty solid difference. But if it's solid wood or concrete, it's not going to make much of a difference. So guys, after this little test, I hope you guys found some value in that. And I definitely did myself. I've been wanting to put that to use for a while. So I just want to say that the isoacoustic pucks definitely have served their purpose. It depends what surface your speakers or your sub is going to be on. I actually do have these two isoacoustic stands. And these definitely do help because you can angle your speaker to your ears. It isolates you from the desk. So if you're using these, you're most likely using these like on a desk, a wooden desk, and then it's going to make a huge difference. If you put it on a stand, you might not hear the difference, but these definitely are pretty cool too. So I like these more than the pucks. These definitely serve more value for me. But right now my speakers aren't even on them because they're not on a desk anymore. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This was fun. And I'm definitely going to make some more videos soon. So stay tuned in. And also just want to say I appreciate all the support and all the comments. There's definitely a community on here of people like me and it's uh, feels great, you know, that I get to help people out. So I appreciate all the comments you guys have been giving and um, next month I'm going to be making a whole lot more content. So hopefully I get to help some more people out. And if you guys enjoyed this video, just comment, like, and subscribe. And if you want more full length videos and measurements, I could do that too. But just for this one, I just wanted to keep it short and sweet. So if you guys enjoyed the video, comment, like, subscribe, and you have a good one.